Good morning, good afternoon, and welcome again to Watching Chickies, now on day 13. Hey little guys, you are certainly active today. Listen to all these inquisitive cheeps. You gonna try to fly out again? <gasps> oh my, oh my, oh my word. Kagome, you almost got out. Oh my. Oh dear. Don't worry, I'll pick you up in a sec. Hello again, weirdest man. Glad to be back today. All of these happy little cheeps. Yes. Happy little chicks. Ooh, and I know Kagome wants to be picked up today. Kagome, you're so eager. You put your foot right in the water. Come here. Come here. Come here. I know you want to jump out by yourself. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Flap, flap, flap. Hello, Derek. Hello, February monster. Yes, there you go, Kagome. Look, 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 look. I've got you a play area right here. You don't need to be just on Dad. You don't need to be on Dad. Here. Here we go. Playtime! Chicken party! Chicken party! Ooh, Stormy! Can't be a chicken party without you! Can't be a chicken party without you. Yep, I just did some cleaning, and these guys have grown so much that I actually don't think it would be a danger for them to have the rocks in the water. But, you know, I might put it back, um for when I'm not looking, just in case, but you know. The actual depth is like barely halfway to my nail at this point, and they have grown basically twice the size they used to be. So I don't think it is a danger any longer, thankfully. Thankfully. And today, you guys are 13 days old. You're all growing so much. Tomorrow, two weeks, two weeks. Oh my. I can hardly believe it. Guys, in just four weeks, you're going to be going outside. And thank you, Mira2001. It's always nice to have a few compliments. Oh, you guys like going to the edge, don't you? But soon, you'll have a full yard to go around in. And uh, good news for people who like YouTube. Oh, I'm sorry, Derek. Maybe you need to uh, reload Reddit or something. That can occasionally be an issue. Oh my, a whole wall of chicken toys. I wish my local pet store had that. I don't think there are quite enough chickens in my area to support an entire wall. <laughs> oh, it's great to see you guys hang out together. Lovely little peeps. Ah, yes, the pet supply store. Ah, yes, well, over here in Connecticut, not everyone has chickens. Especially not in my hometown. But, um, yeah, I'm glad these guys are our sort of representatives here. And for those of you who might not have tuned in before, we're just watching the lives of our three chicks here. And this is day 13 since they've hatched. And we have three different chicken breeds here. We have the striped one, which is Kagome, our Onagadori chick, an endangered Japanese breed. The black one is our Ayam Samani, named Braveheart. And that's a Southeast Asian chicken breed. And our little ball of fluff there is Stormy, 
are silky. Oh, guys, running around, flapping, chasing each other. That's all good fun, isn't it? That's all good fun. And these guys have gotten so active from when they were first brought to our home through the U.S. Postal Service. I wonder if you guys even remember that at this point. Oh, February Monster, yeah, and also Portland. How about, are you uh, Portland, Oregon, or uh, Portland, Maine? I'm guessing from you saying everyone has chickens, it's probably Portland, Oregon. Ah, yes, yes, yes. The dream of the 90s is alive in Portland, right? And the 1890s, apparently. Oh. Hello, Stormy. You just like watching, don't you? And Kagome's like, hey, hey, come on. Play. Play with us. Peck around. Oh, thank you, bowl of meatballs. There are worse fates than being the Bob Ross of watching chickens. And you know, I just love watching these happy little chicks as they kind of, ooh, just flutter about and just explore their environment. And of course, have a bit of happy little play. And, um, recently I have created a channel on YouTube that, you know, uh, later today I'll be putting a link on my profile called Watching Chickies. And, uh, through that, I'm going to be uploading uh, these old streams and um, because now I figured out a way to download them from Reddit and I'm going to be uh, doing a few ASMR videos. Uh, the first of which is me going to be reading out some Japanese folk tales, which I think might be quite nice. Oh, hello, Michael Green 25. And these are some beautiful little chicks. And I just love their gentle peeps. Ooh, ooh, look at the hops from Kagome. You're quite active today. Ooh, ooh, it looks like Stormy's up for playing. Kagome, you are a bundle of energy today. You are. Oh, but Braveheart just wants to get comfy on the blanket. You do. Lovely little birds, my little peep squad. Well, good morning, nonsense dramaturgy. I hope you are doing well today. Because I know these chicks certainly are, and they are just growing more each day. Look at that lovely growth of feathers on the back of Kagome. It's grown even more, even more. You are going to look so regal, fully grown. Oh, yes. Well, you know, in, a, in an apartment, the, uh, a baby chick probably would work, but then that's the thing about baby chicks. They all grow. <clears throat> well, you know, it is possible that with a lot of preparation, perhaps a silky could probably work in an apartment. They are a smaller chicken breed, and uh, they are known for being very social with people. Oh, yes. Well, these big feet really help with their balance. Well, hello, all you new viewers. Well, here we are watching our chicks who are now officially 13 days old. 13 days old, and they have grown so much. Uh, each of these chickens is a different breed. 
And uh, they are our Ayam Samani chick. Ooh, who just flew a bit there and had a little gentle chicken sneeze. Yes, we call her Kagome, our Ona Godori. And uh, Kagome is an endangered Japanese breed. And over here, we have our gray silky named Stormy. And then we have our sleepy little Ayam Samani here that we call Braveheart. Yes. And we all just kind of like to uh, watch these chicks as they go along and play. Uh, right now, they're just out of their living area here to have a little bit of fun on the blanket. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Ooh, lots of little scratches. Oh, Stormy, you don't need to preen Braveheart. I think you're waking him up. Lovely. Ooh. Yeah, little peeps. Well, um, I have just started a YouTube channel where I am uploading all of these videos that I've been doing here on Reddit for the past 13 days. And I will also be doing the occasional sort of ASMR sort of uh, video where I will be reading um, different stories. I'm starting off um, in a couple of days with a video where I am going to be reading Japanese folk tales, which are hopefully just a nice time for everyone. Oh my, Braveheart, so undignified. So undignified, right there. We could see your whole belly. You really are relaxing there, Braveheart, aren't you? Yes, you are. The uh, channel name um, is uh, called Watching Chickies. I will be doing my first uh, upload of some of these previous streams later today. So that's something to look forward to. Oh, nice and rolled over. Yes, you feel so safe, Braveheart. This is your safe space. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, a little scratch. Such a lovely little bird. Ah. <gasps> Yes, you are. Well, they're just kind of playing around. They're trying to get comfy. They're kind of uh, using the blanket like nesting material right now. And even Kagome is getting in, getting in on the action. Yes, they are. Lovely little chicks. Oh, Braveheart's wing isn't broken. Come here, Braveheart. Come here. Let me see. Let me see. Braveheart, let me look. Are you alright? There we go. There we go. You're with Dad. Oh, lovely. Lovely birds. Yep, um, Stormy is a silky chick. So Stormy's going to stay pretty fluffy for all Stormy's life. Um, I try to, uh, you know, talk a bit softly and calmly when I'm with these baby chicks, and I feel they respond to my energy. Yes, they have grown quite a bit, haven't you guys? Ooh, yes. Oh, and of course, you pooped on my nice jeans. Well, that's all right, Braveheart. Let me bring you back to the others. Oh, and you want to go back there? You want to go back to your living area? How about you vibe with the others here? Come on. There you go. Oh, my. Well... Good thing that I can clean up quickly when th these sort of things happen. 
Oh, well, Stormy is actually probably going to be the smallest of all of our birds. And um, all of them we've been weighing over the past few days. Let me just get the weights. And later on, we shall be weighing them in grams. Um, this blanket has uh, been owned by my partner, Lauren, since she was in high school, so I'm not quite sure where she got it. Oh, yes, in four days, they can really grow, as you can see here. Look at all these new feathers on your back, Kagome. Astonishing. Astonishing. Oh, yes. Well, our three breeds again um, is uh, our Silky here, Stormy, our Ayam Samani here, Braveheart, and our Onogadori, Kagome. And Kagome is quite the stunner, but I think all of our chicks are so lovely. Ooh, another chicken sneeze from Kagome. Little chicken sneeze. Uh, so again, Silky Chick, Onagadori, and Ayam Samani. And the channel name that we're going to be having on uh, YouTube is Watching Chickies, which um, I will be doing our first upload later today. And these are small little chickens still. You know, it's day 13, but they have grown quite a bit. And I think soon we will try to do the first weigh-in of the day. And hello as always, Booty for Games YT. Oh yes, that little yellow stuff is, well, right there. Yep, that's some poop. But don't worry, chickens always poop. You can't stop them. There's no point in trying to stop them. All you have to do is just make sure that you clean them. Yes, I have to do a lot of cleanup after you guys. Ah, uh, well, Stormy just kind of likes to watch the others. Yes, you do. So their names again are Stormy, our, is our little Silky, ooh, and Right there is Braveheart, who wanted some attention, our Ayam Samani. Oh, hello, 512 ounce. And here is Kagome, our Onagadori. And now, let's do a little weigh-in of the chicks. So, yesterday, Stormy was uh, 52 grams. Ooh, and Braveheart jumped right back in to his living area. So, let's see if you have gained some weight, Stormy. Let's see if you gained some weight. All right. Oh, dear. I know, Stormy, I know. You don't like being weighed, but I like seeing that you are still progressing well. Oh, my Stormy, Stormy, Stormy. Come here. Come here. Oh, 53 grams. There you go. 53 grams and Stormy. That's an increase, so that's okay. 53 grams. You're still progressing, my little floof ball. Day 13. Come here. Come here, my little Stormy. There we go. And Braveheart, you jumped in there and now you're complaining. Okay, let's come get you. Let's come get you. It's time for your weigh-in. Ooh, 66 grams. For, uh... Wow, Braveheart, you gained 5 grams in one day. 66. What? What? You're on the floor? You, you shouldn't be on the floor. No, 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 no. Up here. 
Oh! Oh, Kaglome! You are jumping all about. Come here, let, let, let Dad get you. Let Dad get you. Yes, 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 yes. Flap, flap, flap. You know the drill. You know the drill. 63? Wait. Wow, 63! Well, you are also getting along. So Braveheart still is the heavyweight champion. <clears throat> oh my, oh my. Come here, Kagame, it's okay. Woo, 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 woo. All this flapping from a little chick. What? Oh dear, oh dear. You jumped to the ground there. It seems Stormy wanted to get in on the action of jumping. Oh, well, Sira, yeah, I'm glad that you are enjoying these streams as well. Oh, Booty for Games YT. I hope everything is all right with you. You gotta be careful. Wanna make sure that you're all right. Uh, Kagome actually is um, partially a reference to Inuyasha. My uh, partner, uh, Lauren, is always quite the fan of uh, the character. And because Kagome is a Onogadori um, from Japan, we thought it fit. And, um, oh yes, well, we will be updating you every day. Yes, and Booty for Games YT, you don't need to spend all of your money on these awards and everything. That's fine. We have many people watching and enjoying, and you know what? That's good enough for me. A little bit of happiness for everyone's lives, and a little bit of lovely chicks. Oh, Ghost MD01, thank you for the hugs. Everyone always appreciates some hugs. And hugs from these baby chicks are always so appreciated. Oh, I'm sorry, Braveheart. You jumped in there, and I think you're a bit lonely. Come here. Come here. Yes, there you go. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, and Dank Pup Daddy, thank you for the Aw Award. And Nat, the Nat, G. Oh, that's a lovely name. Gave a Home Time Award. Thank you very much. Oh no, these chickies are not nuggets, just sort of little nuggets of love, really, because they're going to be members of our family. Oh, there are not many Onagadori uh, left in the world, which is unfortunate because, you know, they are such lovely birds, but thankfully we have these birds. Oh, and Braveheart. You love the game of just jumping in and out, don't you? That is a good question about the silky. I don't think our silky is bearded. I don't think you are. Oh, I think mostly the chicks are talking either about food, about playing, maybe about drinking, and sometimes, you know, just about their days. And, uh, yeah, I could recap our, uh, chickens here. So the striped one right here is our Onagadori chick, Kagome. And right behind her is our little silky, our gray silky named Stormy. And then we have Braveheart, who is stuffing his face, our Ayam Samani. Oh yes, Kagome's feet have gotten quite big. Do you want to see my finger in comparison? Oh, hello! Oh, these, these chickens are never going to be a meal. They are our friends for life. And we are just 
following their lives day by day. They're going to be, oh, they're going to be lovely members of our family. And hopefully, donate the occasional egg. Oh, the silky is actually a chicken. So in the future, um, we could even get some half silky chicks. Oh, and Millennium Shrimp 102, thank you for the wholesome awards. And eventually, we should be getting some uh, eggs from these guys. Oh my, Kagome, that's the trash. Only trash goes in there and occasionally the pooper scooper. But you're not trash. You don't belong in there. You belong on the lovely blanket. Come on, there you go. There you go. Uh, yes, these are actually the first chicks that we have raised, and at the moment, they are our first pets. Uh, so, um, Onagadori should be spelled Onagadori, like that, and I'll just spell it in the chat. There you go. And from the look of, uh, things right here, uh, if we look at... Kagome's little tail feathers that are growing, I have a growing suspicion here that Kagome is actually a hen. Yes, so you might not have 20 foot long feathers, but you might be giving birth to a generation of half Onagadori chicks. So, um, I had a, quite a few pets growing up. I had guinea pigs, I had gerbils, I had dogs, um, I even had a bearded dragon at one point. Um, but these are my first pets as an adult. And, you know, we did a few months of, um, research before actually bringing them in. And, um, before that, I, we, I've been considering it for years. So, um... It's just one of these things that I've always wanted to try. <clears throat> and I really love that we went through with it. Um, a Yam Samani can get quite expensive <clears throat> when you are looking at getting uh, adult chickens. But um, when you're getting newly hatched ones, um, they could be quite affordable. Um, I'm allowed up to one rooster for uh, my town. So, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is getting a little bit hoarse. Um, so at the moment, it looks like at this point, my guess is that Braveheart is going to end up being a rooster. And, um, yeah, that will work out nicely. One rooster and two hens. That would be absolutely lovely. Well, I'm gonna do my best. Ooh, not to lose my voice. Kagome, there you are. What a silly bird. What a silly bird. Why do you keep trying to jump into the trash? The trash is not where you go. Oh, lovely, lovely. Oh yes, they do enjoy a little bit of petting. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And they enjoy being snuggled. Oh, I think Kagome just wants to explore. Here. You see, the thing about Braveheart is Braveheart definitely loves to play the game where he jumps right back into the living area from here. So it's hard to get him to stay on the blanket. So, um, if any of you are interested in just watching some older videos, um, we even have a four-hour video, uh, which we streamed earlier, where, you know, I'm talking pretty much continuously throughout it, if you ever want to use that. Um, if I had ended up with two males, which so far it looks like that's not going to be the case, um... We would have had to uh, bring one to a local farm, which would have been happy to have a rare breed. And they would have lived a 
a nice life there, but so far it looks like everything's going to be fine at this point. Yes, well, at the moment I think Braveheart is more interested in getting a little bit of drink of water, and I'm going to be letting the others back into their living area soon as well. Because I think playtime is over for now. Yes? Yes? Kagome, you ready to go back in? No? You want to fly back in? You can do that. Braveheart can do it, and I know you can do it too. We've seen you do it before. So, um, Onogadoris are a bit different from uh, what I believe they call the Phoenix breed in uh, China. I think they are related, though. And here, here, my little Stormy, I'll help you get in, because your wings are not the same as the others. There you go. There you go. Ooh, a little flutter. Lovely. Oh, well, generally, if I'm going to eat eggs, um, I like them just over easy. That's a nice way. And hopefully in the future, you know, when you guys donate eggs, well, most of them will probably be used in, for baking purposes, because uh, Lauren does quite, is quite the inventive baker. Oh my, you pooped on the blanket again. Well, it's a good thing we have a good washing machine. Oh, none of these are um, Polish. Uh, we have our Onagodori over here. Kagome. We have our little Silky who's cheeping and wondering where Kagome is. And our Silky is named Stormy. And then we have our very thirsty Ayam Samani named Braveheart. Oh, and I don't need to worry about the poops because I... Ooh, there you go. You did want to fly there, Kagome. Oh, well, any bird. Lovely that you've raised hundreds of chicks. Well, if I ever need to know anything more, I can always send you a message as well. Oh, yes, Braveheart's going to be strong. And all of them are going to be strong. They're all growing nicely. And they're all such lovely little birds. Yes, you are. Oh, well, Laughing Bulbasaur, I hope that your chicks are doing wonderfully. Yep, Nonsense Dramaturgy, I removed the uh, stones from the uh, water at the moment because they've grown quite a big size. And um, I was doing a little cleaning today and I thought maybe they'll like it without the stones for a bit. So I'm just trying something. Oh my. Lots of scratching behavior from you guys. Oh, Stormy is likely going to be the smallest of the chicks, actually, because the Silky, out of all three of these breeds, are a smaller breed. Oh, and Ferrasso, thank you for the gold. It is much appreciated, and we all get a few more minutes with these chicks as a result. Lovely. And Slade, I hope that your um, academic endeavors go well, and that this is a nice little soothing time for you, just to relax and refocus your energy. We believe in you. You can do it. Um, so far, these uh, chicks largely prefer their feed. We have given them a few treats um, in the form of grapes, which they all soundly did not like. Ooh, and lovely little drink there from Kagome. Little beak full and the head back. And um, there was only one treat so far that they really enjoyed, which was just a little bit of plain yogurt, which our little Stormy loved. Oh, Lauren loves us streaming these chicks. 
And just to go back to some of the previous comments, we got these guys from a place called uh, Feather Lover Farms that uh, specialize in these sort of rarer breeds. And they were overnight shipped to us through the U.S. Postal Service. And they all arrived safe and sound. And they've been with us now, officially, for 13 days. And they've all been such lovely little chicks. And uh, my partner Lauren, she quite enjoys these uh, streams, especially because that allows her, during her work day, to uh, tune in every once in a while and see how they're doing. Oh yes, Braveheart is just beasting. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Oh my. Oh my. So, we are going to be moving them to a larger, um, to a larger place, um, to the coop in six weeks, but probably because they're growing so big, and soon probably big enough to, uh, jump out of the tub, we're going to be moving them to a little spare bedroom where they can spread out a bit, and, uh, yeah, that should be fun, that should be a fun Hey guys, and uh, we can't um, tell their genders definitively yet, but um, so far, from just the clues that I've gotten, um, like the little comb that's developing here on Braveheart, and the uh, shape of the tail feathers on Kagome, my current belief is that um, Kagome will likely be a hen. I'm guessing Stormy will also likely be a hen, and my guess right now is Braveheart will be a rooster. A lovely rooster. Oh, and February Monster! Thank you for the happy peeps joining in with all these guys. Sure. Um, here, again, we have our Silky, named Stormy, strutting her stuff. And here, we have uh, our Onagadori, named Kagome, who's having a little bit of a meal. And here, we have our Ayam Samani, named Braveheart, who is currently feasting. And um, I haven't done any voiceover work, but I would always be pleased to try to do some. And um, <clears throat> we are launching our YouTube channel later today under the channel name Watching Chickies, and where I will be uploading these um, streams. And I will probably also be doing some sort of uh, ASMR type readings, uh, starting off with some Japanese folk tales, which I think should be quite a lovely time. Oh well, I'm glad that you're getting some enjoyment out of this. Uh, so far, I've been spelling it stormy with just a, a Y instead of a E-Y. But you know, they're chickens. They can't tell the difference. Oh, uh, said O'Nully. Of course you can ask some questions. So, at the moment, um, I am their adoptive chicken dad, and Lauren is their adoptive chicken mom. Oh, um, so these are just containers for the water right here to go down so it's always replenished, and uh, this is the same here for their food, uh, which they have gone through, and I'm going to be having to refill soon. little cuddle pile here. Are you guys cuddling? Oh, I always love seeing you cuddle. Nope, uh, we don't have any geese at the moment. These are our only fine feathered friends in our household, and all of them are just so lovely. Oh, cowboy girl, yes. 
Well, these feeders are quite nice. They've worked very well. Though our baby chicks like to um, kick out a lot of the food and just sort of try to almost hoard it underneath. So they do a lot of preening. Um, occasionally, some of them might have a little sand bath because we use sand as bedding here. Um, yesterday's stream, I managed to capture that. And um, you see, when they have a sand bath, they like to throw some stuff around, and then the others like to preen them and get all the little bits off. It's quite lovely and uh, calming to watch them do that. Um, we clean the poop with a pooper scooper that we have modified for their little baby chick uh, droppings. And uh, we found it's a quite easy way to clean up, and um, it leaves uh, no real smell as opposed to sort of the uh, wood chips. And uh, just a warning for any of you budding uh, chicken keepers out there, you need to have clean sand that's uh, sort of devoid of dust because your little chicks can definitely be bothered by dust. And uh, do not use calcium uh, sand because the calcium can interfere with their development. Yep, the uh, our gray chick is a silky. A lovely, soft little silky. Oh, well, that is an Onogadori chick, which is an endangered Japanese breed. Oh, well, Stormy is a more sedentary little chick compared to the others. Stormy has been gaining weight nicely and has actually been developing very nicely. There you go, Stormy. I know. I know. Show us your little wings. As we can see here, Stormy's wings have grown these nice, soft little feathers. Yes. Ooh, can we see your feet? You have, like, fuzzy boots on, don't you? Lovely. Lovely. Now, I didn't realize... I thought there would be less feathers on the feet, but Stormy has just grown more. Um, they should reach uh, close to their full growth uh, once they hit the uh, six-month mark or so. Oh yes, um, actually, um, I have started a YouTube channel, and we are going to be um, putting up the first video starting tonight of the streams. Yes. And uh, it's called Watching Chickies. Uh, the same as the sort of title to these past few videos. Oh, Stormy. Such a lovely little chick. Oh, you're sitting down in my hand now? You're feeling comfortable with that? A few gentle peeps? Lovely, lovely. Well, the species for all of these guys are chickens, and their breeds are Silky, Onagadori, and Ayam Samani. Oh, well, thank you, guys. Yeah, I'm going to do my best for YouTube to, uh, you know, sort of re-release these daily streams that we do for Reddit. And then uh, do a few other videos where I read some stories for you guys, like some Japanese folk tales, and I'll see how that goes. Yes, maybe I can do little recap videos as well, just talking about the Chickies days. Yes, and Stormy is quite the cute little chick. You are. You know, Stormy, people just like you. They do. Ooh, a little head pat. Well, I'd have to let Stormy down for that for a second. A little head pat for Stormy, who feels softer than any cotton ball. Yes, little peeps. Where is everyone, says Stormy. Where is everyone? 
Well, I do have a normal speaking voice, but I like to just be nice and calm for these baby chicks. Because I feel they respond to it. Yeah. I do feel a so sort of fatherly affection towards them. I mean, that's, uh, I guess, part of the deal when you're getting something that actually imprints on you. You have to take that responsibility seriously. Oh, yes. They're such lovely little chicks. So I would say most of the difficulty in raising chickens is just getting your research down and getting everything prepared for them. Because in the end, a well-prepared uh, chicken owner or parent is one that has everything set. So all of your chickens are nice and happy as they go along. Oh my, a heavy metal song with using this voice. That would be pretty difficult. That would be pretty difficult. Yes, I think at this point, Stormy might indeed be a hen. Yes. A lovely little mother for the future. Oh my, are we the top broadcast? Well, hello there, Reddit. I hope you're enjoying just a few minutes with us and our chicks here. Lovely, lovely. And this is our chicken, Stormy, who currently is insisting on some snuggles. Yes. Our lovely little Stormy. Best snuggler ever. And yes, um, on the YouTube channel, um, I'm going to be reading just some um, public domain stories, um, some uh, Japanese folk tales, and that will start off this week as uh, we do our first uploads of the streams on YouTube, which will be exciting. Lovely. Oh, yes, all of our chickens love to be pet. They are very social chickens, yes. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Oh, my. Oh, my. There you go, Stormy. There you go. I think the others are asking, where are you? Where is Stormy? Oh, well, yes, I hope that you have a great day. And I hope all of you are having a nice time as well now. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, I'm not sure why my voice would sound unreal. Um, it's as real as I can make it right now. Oh my, Red Five. Well, these chickens are quite friendly compared to that one. It's possible that that mother hen that chased you off was just worried about her babies. And uh, a lot of chickens that you see um, weren't really hand-raised like this and weren't really socialized with people. So that means that um, generally they're a bit more wary of us. But these guys, well, they'll always be our friends. And uh, KK Prince 1998 I do have a Patreon. And uh, if you want, there is a link... Uh, that you can find uh, by looking at my page. I have the info right there. So generally speaking, um, it usually takes a professional uh, chicken sexer to judge what the gender of a chicken is at such a young age. Um, I am not one of these, so I couldn't really judge these guys. Um, I've just been kind of watching them as they grow. And at the moment, my guess is that uh, Kagome 
is probably going to be a hen. Um, our little Stormy here is probably going to be a hen. And our Ayam Samani, Braveheart, is probably going to be a rooster. Oh, lovely. Well, if this was my job, just showing off the chickens and just talking to you guys, that would be a lovely life, wouldn't it, guys? Yeah, I like being just using these calming voices because, as you, you can see, I can even put these baby chickies to sleep by being nice and calm. Exactly, it's Sasha. That's why chicken sexing is almost like an art form into itself. I don't know. Me uh, speaking like this is just coming to me naturally, just watching these chicks. I haven't taken any voice acting classes. I'm just being calm and collected. Oh, KK Prince 1998, thank you for the wholesome award. I'm glad you're all having a nice wholesome time. And while things are so calm here, there seems to be a flurry of activity down over here. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Stormy's trying to take a nap. Aren't you, Stormy? Our lovely little chicks all doing their own thing. Well, maybe I'll take up some of your siblings in the sack, Stormy, and we'll try to calm them down. Ooh, a narrator for a kid's show. Maybe there should be a kid's show about little baby chicks. That would be a lovely thing. Yeah, at the moment, I like to call myself a chicken dad, though. You know, I think especially Braveheart might view me as kind of like a mom. Sometimes uh, Braveheart actually just runs up into my hand to be picked up. And I'm sure Braveheart imprinted on me uh, probably a bit stronger than the others because Braveheart, when we opened up the box, kind of leapt up right to the edge and looked at me right in the face. But, you know, being a chicken parent is a big responsibility and we are trying to take it as seriously as possible because we want these chickens to, li to live long and happy lives. Filled with some pets and love. I think even as they're full grown, because the amount of time that we've handled them and the love that we've shown them, that they will still cuddle up with us like this. Oh yes, Stormy is just sleeping now. Oh, well, I appreciate the thought, Amber Leaf of Leaf Clan. So, um, we taught uh, the chickies that the food was food, um, partially by um, using paper towels in the beginning, instead of uh, putting the sand bedding in straight away. Um, I brought them over to their food. I kind of um, helped dip their little beaks towards it like I did for their water. And because the uh, pellets were the, um, well, the chicken feed was the only thing in uh, their environment that they could really sort of uh, peck at, they learned quite quickly that that was their food. And uh, the few days later where we introduced sand, they knew almost straight away that this sand thing was not actually food which made the sand much safer for them. Oh, KK Prince, I'm sorry that chickens aren't legal in your city, but guess what? These videos certainly are. 
and we do broadcast every day starting at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, we haven't upgraded to mealworms yet, but you know, that might be something that we do soon. Um, when I introduced uh, Braveheart to the outside for the first time, Braveheart actually did manage to eat a little midge that landed on my arm. So Braveheart officially is the first one to have eaten an insect. Braveheart was so fast, I was surprised that it happened, but I've never seen a chicken look so pleased. Oh, lovely. Well, that'll be another treat for you guys. Some mealworms. I wonder if you'll all be so picky then. I imagine Braveheart would absolutely love that. Braveheart's already eaten a bug, so Braveheart will know that that's food. Oh, is it 1 p.m. now? Why, it is, guys. Well, for my timer here, I see that we have a little less than 10 minutes left. But there's no need to worry, because we are all going to be seeing each other again tomorrow. And have a lovely time. And for all, any of you who want to follow me here on Reddit, feel free. Because we're going to be broadcasting again. And I'm also going to be uploading the info about our new YouTube channel. In case you want to check out that content. And we do also have the information about Patreon in case you're interested in supporting the chickies that way. But you don't need to. It's enough for us that you got a little bit of light into your day by just having these calming little baby chicks in your life. Yep, so far it's every day at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Though, I am considering possibly doing a uh, break day on uh, Wednesdays, depending on how things go. But for now, it's every day, so we get to see these little chicks' growth. Oh, Stormy, you are so comfortable and cuddly. But I definitely want you to stay warm. So, I... I'm going to be bringing you back to your living area. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. Waking up? Good. I don't want you to... I don't want to dump you just half asleep into your living area. Yes, stretch. Stretch, little flap. Little flap. Oh, yes. Are you balancing well? Oh, I'm worried about that. You are not the best balancer out of all of them. Okay, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, everyone. There you go. There you go. Little jump. Ah, <gasps> lovely. Our lovely little Stormy. You managed it. You didn't fall over. Lovely. All right, guys. So we have about five minutes left. And I love her little... Yes, her little feet floofs. The perfect word for it. Feet floofs. Lovely. Oh, and a little bit of preening going on there. Oh, Kagome, did you help out? Oh, Kagome. What you want to play with, Braveheart? Oh, yes. <gasps> that is a wonderful snuggle there, Kagome, with Braveheart. Lovely. It is the best to see you guys getting along. Oh, and Stormy. Definitely go eat. We want you to get big and strong. And as we're down to our last five minutes here, um, I just want to say thank you all for tuning in 
and enjoying the tricks with me. This is some of the happiest part of my day. And uh, I apologize for that little beeping noise there. I should have silenced that. Oh well. Mistakes happen. That's part of life. And learning. Right, guys? Yeah. Oh my, I almost missed you in the corner there, Braveheart. Oh, don't worry, guys. Today is a lovely day because we are going to be uploading so many of these streams to YouTube. So you can have that to look forward to today. And tonight, I get to look forward to having a lovely dinner with my partner, Lauren. And we are sharing um, our anniversary dinner to today because it is 11 years since we first got together. An exciting anniversary. I'm glad that all of you tuned in to see these little chicks as they go about, and now they feast once again. Oh, thank you, February Monster. You want me to talk in my normal voice before I go? Well, hello. This is a bit of a deeper voice. And now back to the other voice. Yes, I kind of settled into this voice as the videos continued. Now let's see. We have about three minutes tonight. Oh yes, the chicks were so tiny in that first video, but fortunately it was archived and you can uh, watch those older videos. Lovely. All right, guys, so, um, here. Let me just introduce the chickies one more time for anyone who might have missed it. From Kagome, our Onagadori who just loves those scritches. Braveheart, our Ayam Samani. Our brave, proud Braveheart. And Stormy, our lovely little silky chick. We are all just so happy that you guys have joined us today on day 13 of their lives. Oh yes, we are all going to be just happy, wholesome, calm videos here. Yes, the daily dose of fluffiness. Yes, you are all precious little chicks to us. Oh yes, we will continue to do these streams as the days go on. And we'll get to see these chickies grow, develop, and learn. And have a wonderful time as they do so. And I'm sure that they'd all love knowing that you guys love watching them. Ooh, and Braveheart likes watching you guys. Ooh, yes. You guys love the camera sometimes, you do. And just a few little moments of happy peep in there from our little peep squad. Now all of you out there, I want you to have lovely, happy days and stay safe because we're all going to be back tomorrow. And we hope to see you then. All right, guys. 